Hello, I'm David Payton. I'm working with the European Commission for the Control of Foot and Mouth Disease. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to collect a probang sample to detect foot and mouth disease virus in the oropharynx of cattle or small ruminants. This is a probang sampling device suitable for use on an adult cow. It's made of a steel wire and a brass cup and we have attached a sleeve so that we can keep a good grip on it. The way that the device works is you push it down the throat of the cow and then when you pull it out you collect mucus and cells from the surface of the oropharynx into the cup. Probang sampling is useful for detection of FMD virus in suspect cases where the disease is expected to have occurred over one week ago and there are no fresh lesions to sample. It is also used to detect long-term FMD carrier animals. It should be noted that probang sampling is not usually recommended as a first-line diagnostic test as it is preferable to collect vesicular epithelium or vesicular fluid where these can be obtained from fresh lesions. You should start by making sure that the animal is safely restrained and that somebody stands at the side of the head to hold it for you. A range of different size probangs are available and you should select the appropriate one for the animal that you wish to sample. You are aiming to introduce the probang cup to the upper esophagus which is just above and beyond the larynx. You can easily feel the larynx from the outside on the animal's neck. Hold the probang rod up to the side of the head to see how far it will need to be inserted. Introduce the probang centrally in the mouth to avoid the animal chewing on the cup. Swiftly push it to the back of the mouth where it will be obstructed by the larynx until swallowed. Once past the larynx, the probang cup moves readily within the upper esophagus. Its passage there is often visible externally if the upper neck is viewed from the left side. In order to collect the sample, the probang is moved backwards and forwards five to ten times at the top of the esophagus and the back of the oropharynx. Lift the head of the animal and remove the probang in a swift upward motion so that the sample is kept in the probang cup as you remove it. Pour the sample into a wide neck container with an approximately equal volume of neutral pH buffered medium with added antibiotics. Remember to label the sample correctly. The sample needs to be kept cool and transported to the laboratory as quickly as possible after packaging in a biosecure manner. If a delay of more than 12 hours is anticipated during transport, the sample is better frozen rapidly with card ice or liquid nitrogen and transported frozen to the laboratory. If you need to take multiple probang samples from different animals, the probang needs to be cleaned and disinfected between each animal. To do so, use the three bucket method. Wash in water, disinfect in citric acid, and then importantly, rinse off the citric acid in a third clean bucket of water. If the probang sample contains ruminal contents, it is not suitable. The animal should be left for 10 minutes and then a second attempt can be made at sampling.